Thank you for the kind, the kind and generous introduction, my dearest friend. <laughs> Good morning, beloved guests, uh, teachers of Holy School, and fellow alumni. It is an honor and privilege for me to speak on the occasion of the centennial celebration of the Holy School. Our beloved Alma Mater. A couple of months ago, I was asked by my dear cousin, the principal, Mrs. Celia Torpaesa, to write my memoirs or memories of the Holy Ghost Club. I said to myself, this is the most difficult task ever given to me. And to quote my father's words, Notipuso mapuno tiraksak, mabalog tidila. Yes, emotions too deep for words. I am afraid words will never do justice to the feelings I have for Holy Ghost School. Let me invite my fellow alumni to stroll down memory lane, to explore the back roads of our minds, to relieve, to relive the good old days that we thought, thought would never end. School. I had mixed feelings then, excited, because now I will be wearing the coveted, prestigious blue and white uniform and the Sunday gala. Apprehensive, because now it, is, it will be, a, I will be entering a challenging milestone in my life, a high school in an environment of Catholic education. I spent my elementary years at Tayong Central School. Anak mag ng Mestre Coloy, a grade 3 teacher in Gabaldon. Hindi at siyam po, anak ka ti Mestre, ti Gabaldon, magbasa na kayo, magbasa kami amin. Ang magbasa na kiti anak na dyan at Tayong Central School. Yes, it was a very difficult and different environment here in Holico School. From a non-sectarian, secular environment to a Catholic education. Whereas we had catechism once a week in Gabaldon, we would have short prayers before its class period. We will be, uh, we will have silent retreats, frequent confessions and communions, and holy masses on first Fridays. It was here in the grounds of Holy Ghost School that my young mind and heart were nurtured in the Catholic education, strict morals, and discipline. It was here also that I first beautiful, lasting friendships. Friends who are dedicated, loyal, and true. I have kept them all my all these years. I will forever hold them dear to my heart. <laughs> Moligo School molded me into a compassionate, tolerant, committed individual to the amelioration of our less fortunate brothers and sisters. It was a painful trans transformation and transition, but I am proud to be called a Holy Ghost alumna. Inspired by the precepts of a Catholic education and tenets of Holy Ghost School, in 1989, in cooperation with my brother and sisters, we established the Socorro de Carino Memorial Foundation in memory of our beloved mother. We have been sponsoring scholarships for students who are indigent but intelligent. Because I want them, I want them serving you to experience my own personal gratification. We also sponsor medical dental missions to help our families. In the same token, in 2001, I founded a time in USA with the thought of helping our community, our school, our alma mater. On the occasion of the centennial celebration of our alma mater,
La 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 
Let's go. 